As you take stock of 2013 and you look back on your last year, I want you to really pat yourself on the back for what you've accomplished. Obviously you've taken stock and you've, you're turning in the paperwork for your accountant to turn in taxes for the year and there are things that you can be really proud of. I want you to really take a deep breath and acknowledge those things for yourself. And now as you look forward to 2014, I need you to identify and prioritize what's the most important thing that you personally and professionally need for your business to grow and sustain in 2014. Is it time? Are you constantly feeling like there's not enough time in the day? Is it that you're exhausted? Do you need more energy? Are you not passionate about your work anymore? Or do your employees see that? Or is it revenue? Do you need an increase in revenue? Um, sometimes it's all three. All, those are limited resources and sometimes we feel like we don't have enough of any of them. But I need you to focus on one of those things and identify it as a priority. I had a client who we worked with all of 2013 because she was wasting so much time and energy with employees. They were confused, their roles and responsibilities weren't clear, there was bad attitudes, it got toxic, and we spent the whole year making sure we hired and trained great employees. So that was that could get off of her plate and she has managers now who are in place who are really doing their jobs well and that's something she can be very very proud of. So as we look to 2014 I said what's the thing that keeps you up at night? What's the one thing that we need to work on in your business for you? And she said I'm debilitated and paralyzed by my debt load. Okay great. Now we can have a plan of action. Now we can say this is what we're going to do in the next 30, 60, 90 days to help you not be paralyzed by your debt load. It may be increasing sales. It may be helping her manage from the financial perspective about how to pay down the debt load. But she has a plan of action and she can feel better knowing that she's got professional help helping her and that she's identified a priority that really keeps her up at night. And that's what I want you to do. It's very important for you to say to yourself, I need this and then to be able to have a goal say it out loud there's a lot of power in saying it out loud and making that your goal for the 30 60 90 days and letting other people know that so you can have a plan of action it's like saying I want to lose weight unless you say how you're gonna go about doing that setting aside an hour a day buying good healthy food it's not going to happen so my back pocket strategy for you for the week is to have an identify whether it's more time, energy, or money that you need or something else and set it as a goal and a priority and make a plan of action for the next 30, 60, 90 days. And that will make your business stronger and more sustainable going into 2014. Make it a great week.